Along the upper Mississippi, every hour brings something new. There are crowds of odd islands, bluffs, prairies, hills, woods, and villages. Everything one could desire. sitting outside when dawn is just broke and it's so calm. The breeze smells clean and all you hear are the birds singing and little animals rustling in the bushes. It's a very spiritual experience. The Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge is one of the largest blocks of floodplain habitat in the continental United States. Since its establishment in 1924, the refuge has encouraged and sustained wild beauty with lush floodplain forests and wetlands vital to breeding and migrating wildlife. The river moves from land to water to land, in and out of organisms, reminding us what native peoples have never forgotten, that you cannot separate the land from the water, or the people from the land. Lynn Knoll. The refuge has experienced degradation, though, because of human influence and natural processes. It is our mission, along with our partners, to conserve and manage this internationally significant ecosystem for future generations of wildlife and humans. I climbed up to the top of one of the many bluffs around the river. It was like being on top of the world. I mean, everything was so small, even the trains. But you know, I got a really good look at how huge and long the river really is. Well, the thing that struck me the most was the mix of wilderness and industry. There's nothing but nature for miles and miles, and then around the river bend are factories and towns. It's kind of weird seeing thousands of tundra swan floating in the water with a huge barge going by in the background, but there seems to be a delicate balance here. <laughs> 